Hey guys, it's me, Cruel, back again with another action video on this channel and another episode for Retro Friday. Today we have A Pink with No No No. This was the title track for their third mini album Secret Garden in 2013. And yeah, this is my, well, fourth reaction, maybe fifth reaction to A Pink. I have checked out Dum the Room, I have checked out uh, Love is Blind, and uh, another B side from the Dum the Room album. Both had like uh, choreography uh, versions basically, and they were like subunit songs. And I also checked out Namju's um, solo debut called Bird. And I think Namju is also my bias for now. I'm not 100% set yet, but yeah, for now it is. And yeah, before we get started with this video, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the stuff that I do. I upload every single day and mainly K pop related. So if you're interested in that, again, subscribe to my channel. Um, click the notification bell right next to it, that helps a lot as well. And if you want to, you can join my Discord server, it's a really good way of being notified even further. It's more reliable than YouTube notifications. It also notifies you of my Patreon account, where I upload a lot of exclusive content that is not on YouTube. So it's just all in all a really good way of being up to date. Um, link to all of that is in the description below, so yeah, if you're interested, look there. And quick shout out to my Patreons for September, thank you so much for the continued support. Special shout out to Keller Delman, my tier 4 Patreon, thank you so, so much. Let's get started with Aping's No No No. I got the um, screenshot of their members, or basically the visuals of the members in this era, uh, because I'm very new and I don't even know all the names like by heart um, yet. I definitely need this and um, yeah, I will put this on my second screen to make sure I don't miss anything. And let's get started. It has English subtitles, that's good. A third mini album, so this is their um, second comic, right? So it's pretty early on in their career. Okay, so I'm. I want. I kinda want a shot where all of them are like next to each other or something so I can figure out who's who. So the one with the red and the hair is Churong, okay? So she has the very like angelic bright voice, I remember that one. Um, my favorite voices probably were Namju, Bomi and Unji, not sure though. Naren, Naren also has a great voice. Hi, not already. Oh, that's cute. Jumping against each other, okay. So this shot is almost good, not perfect yet. Just short again. What was Unji? Oh well. Let's pay more attention to the video. <laughs> That's good. Okay, I'm sure. See you. Okay. Um, I feel like 2013. Yeah, this was the time where like sexy uh, concepts really rose to fame, right? With sister especially. Um, yeah, this is this is interesting mix because the song is quite cutesy, but the video is more sexy than cutesy, I would say. That I would assume that's either Bumi or Churong in the center right now. Uh, it's probably Bumi, right? Um, she definitely has an aura. And some moves. I really like the voice of this girl. Who is this? I really want to know. Like the one right now singing after. Here. You want to sing right now? The voice is so deep. Major. I love it. Oh! So they're almost shuffling to the side. Okay. <laughs> what are they baking cakes for, by the way? Is it like a birthday party for someone? Maybe this is uploaded on their anniversary day. I'm not sure though. 
She's really cute. Her voice is cute too. Oh, this is Hyan. Bungie? I think. I'm just so cute with the short hair. Um, now that I think about it, this is more happy than cute. Yeah, this actually lifts me up a lot. It's a very uplifting song. Makes me forget my worries and stuff, you know, my problems in a broader sense. Aaron <laughs> told me to stop, I'm the last love you look at. Okay, so kind of saying, I will do everything I can to stay with you and to be a good wife or person at least. Um, if this may be out of the perspective of a guy, we don't know, right? But I would assume not. Um, yeah, a little bit... Sounds a little bit obsessive, though. A little bit... Um, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not allowing it to be with anyone else in your life anymore. I will be the last one, you know? I'll be the one, yeah. Oh, gee! I think that's only right. Woo! Oh. Who was that then? Ch Chora? Maybe it's again OG, I'm not sure. But earlier it was OG and that was amazing already. But uh, let me know if this is also OG. That's cute. Oh wait, it's like an instrumental outro. The same dance though. Huh. <laughs> the little butt chick at the end, okay. Bye bye, cuties. <laughs> that was that was really cute. Actually. Um I really wonder about something, you know. I remember that although I don't know much about Aping yet. I remember that they were part of Cube Entertainment, basically. They were um, in a sub-label of Cube Entertainment, I think it was called Cube A. Um, but I don't remember, so I really want to look this up quickly. Uh, at what year they were bought from another company? Or like basically, yeah, so I have to look at the company. Two thousand fifteen, November two thousand fifteen. So yeah, so this was still under Q basically, and I can definitely see that. Um, it reminds me a lot of the first love CSC times, you know. And uh, like looking at CSC for a second, if this would load, thank you. No, well then let's look at CSC again, because CSC was debuting in two thousand fifteen. So I think they were March two thousand fifteen. So right before basically a pink left cube in a sense if that makes sense yeah um and the first album still was called first love it had a very similar vibe and concept i would say like this song has so i could definitely see the cube influence here for sure i wonder if this is also present for their first and second and maybe fourth and fifth mini album so basically everything else that happened on the cube I wonder if they were more cutesy type of group back in the day, because nowadays I would say that's not really the case anymore, from what I know. Um, but yeah, that was Aping's No No No, that was a mix between being cutesy, sometimes even sexy with the choreo, and then also being a very uplifting and fun song, um, kind of making you happy, forget about trouble and problems and stuff. Um, a very bright song in a sense. So I like this, I like this. Um, not my typical type of song that I listen to a lot. And I'm not sure if this is gonna be something that I will put on a playlist and listen to like on repeat. But this was actually fun and I enjoyed this. So 
that was my main takeaway. Um, I hope you enjoyed my <laughs> enjoyed my reaction video. I can't speak. Uh, if you did, leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, as I said in the beginning, do not miss anything in the future, and you can also comment down below what you thought of the song, what you maybe thought of this in comparison to their um, concept nowadays, and maybe what you thought about my, I guess, assuming, ass well, my assumption, that's the word, um, that this is resembling of cube concepts back in the day. Yeah, this is for me, have a nice day, peace.